Thanks for your first here. I know it's probably not. I see the analytics. So thank you so much for coming, hanging out with me. Friday night, we're headed into Goodwill tonight. We're gonna go live streaming. We're gonna go shopping. You're gonna help me out in the chat because my phone's right here. So hopefully we find some interesting stuff. I've had a great week. I hope you've had a great week also. It's cold out here. I live in Las Vegas at 57 degrees. I'm freezing my little hiney off right here. I didn't bring a jacket, silly me. So we're going inside. Usually I talk and talk and talk and then we go inside. Today, we're headed straight inside for you. So let's get it going. I dropped one video this week. I went thrifting with my sister and my brother-in-law. We had a great time, but I don't know about the fines. All right, Diana McMahon, member for 13 months and more. Thank you so much, Diana. Mikey, love you in Supercourt. We love you right back. Thank you so much for hanging out with us all these months in a row. I appreciate it. Marky Mark, how you doing? Las Vegas in the house. Are you as cold as I am? 57 degrees. I am cold, old. All right, so here we go. Headed into Goodwill, friends. Usually they got some new new shelves out. Lala, how you doing, Lala? I did, a, I was on What Night, What Not, two hours ago. Lynn Glenn, hello, hello. What Not, two hours ago. I had a great show. If you guys were there, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Sandra, yes, Friday night with Mikey Bags. We're in here shopping at Goodwill. We're gonna find some fabulous finds. Like I said, Gloria, I just had a whatnot sale. Sold some Lucite grapes, some paperweights, a lot of finds from my video from the Goodwill grand opening. So that was really fun. And I had a good time. So Supercore wasn't available at this one. I think she'll be here next time for sure. All right, so we're already just up in here. They don't have the new rack, so we just came here. Joe and Nicole, how you doing? Thank you so much for joining us. I'd flip that, I'd flip it too. What is this, is this any good, friends? I don't think it's good. Maybe it's decent. The price is right, the price is right. Speaking of the price is right, friends, check out the reseller showdown, Joe and Nicole show. Super awesome. Yeah, I'm the first time winner, and I found my kazoo. Joe, I found my kazoo. When you guys are super famous and like hoping, hosting Wheel of Fortune, both of you, I can see it. My kazoo is going to be worth some dough. I can't wait. So let's go. That's summer weather for us. Yeah, 57 is cold. I used to live in a place where 57 was definitely shorts and a t-shirt weather, but not anymore. Mikey is cold. Old. Who dat? I don't think this thing's any good. 777 possibly originally. Two little owls. Kind of cute, kind of cute, I gotta say, but it doesn't have enough pizzazz for me. All right, I never buy plates. When I first started reselling, I did buy a couple plates, so I gotta be honest. We buy stuff, and then we learn, and then we learn. This is my house, I'll do as I darn please. I like it. I don't like that price though, $7.99, $7.99. All right, friends. Oh, look at this guy, is that jail? Or is that just uh, inside the house in the rain? What a sad, sad boy. Disappointment from 1986 from the Francis Hook Legacy. Yeah, that that is. All right, 54 in Minnesota. Joe's walking his dogs in a t-shirt and shorts. I believe it, I believe it. All right, oh, more plates. Lots of plates today. That's not a good sign. I don't know why I'm looking at the backs of them. All right, let's move up a shelf. Gotta remember, search high, search low. It's kind of interesting right here. A little tree trunk, lucite. Probably had a top, right? That's what it's missing, the top. Panjo, welcome, welcome, Panjo. Hope you're having a fabulous Friday. Thank you, I appreciate it. Shirt compliment number one, friends. Shirt compliment number one. All right, I'm wearing a Vineyard Vines today. Supercourt bought it for me from the outlet mall. I usually don't like to buy new. I, I didn't get it the first time she wanted to get it for me, but the second time was a charm. That's what they say, second time's a charm. A bit like a trivet, tile trivet with a little giraffe action going. What's this, like a little jewelry uh, display? Does anyone else know that? 
All right, what's that holding there? Oh, it go like this? Is this a service tray? No. I don't know. I don't know. That's why I bring you guys along, because maybe, maybe you'll know. I had this little cool art glass blown, uh, like, perfume bottle, and I've had it for probably a year, and I just keep putting it back and not listing it, not listing it. And then I went to check it out today, and it's signed by an artist. I can't remember the name. Of course, you know me. But it's probably worth, like, 80 to if it had the stopper in it, it probably would be worth 200 bucks. But I think it's worth like 40 to 80 as it is. I'm pretty, pretty excited. This thing's just been laying around. But it's a perfume art glass bottle from the 1980s. Robert something was his name. All right. So far, not so hot. That does not stop me from going. Oh, look at this one. $8.99, oh, don't use the middle. $8.99 there, $14.99 Ross Special, made in China. It's not much of a discount, not much of a discount. I gotta say, Ross Special, aisle one. All right, what else do we got? Oh, well, I love you. What are these things called? Candle holder, oh, it's a candle holder. It's totally a candle holder. Thank you so much, I see it now. Sometimes, it's not obvious until it is, until it is. Some little pottery back here. Oh, this is a Steinmart special right here. Good little discounts aren't what they used to be, friends. $12.99 originally, $7.99 here. Now, and these, these son of a guns, got a lot of friends at Goodwill, but these son of a guns will cover up all kinds of markings so you can't read what the bottom is, but they keep forgetting to cover up the tags of the old price at Steinmart. We're not impressed by that. We're not impressed. Gonna have to talk, talk to the CEO. Just kidding. I, I just put it out on my channel, friends. It's all jokes and fun. Talk a little schmack. Love coming to Goodwill, getting bargains. I just put out a reel. If you're not following me on Facebook, I almost got as many followers on Facebook as, as YouTube now. And I, I did a reel. And it was basically an old YouTube video, but I found something for 10 bucks and it sold for $400. It was one of my best finds, one of my best finds. Thank you, Judith, I appreciate it. I'm feeling pretty good. We need the luck though, we need the luck. I'm feeling good, we just need the luck. All right, okay, Eskimo girl. It's a nice jacket right there, I gotta say. Beads. Alaskan friends. Genuine porcelain doll. All right. Creepy dolls, creepy dolls. No, thank you. Oh, can't even say that. Is that cheese? Bergen-gone, Bergen-gone, bergen, -gone, bergen, -gone, bergen -gone? I haven't been eating my cheese like I was. I went so crazy in December on cheese, January and February. Way less cheese, way less cheese. Trying to eat less meat too. Nothing against, nothing against the meat people. They're strong, man, they're strong. So you guys eat your meat. I'm just slowing down a little bit. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I thought it was a two piece. Maybe we need an art project. Look at that. A real squirrel, Kristen, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, two pieces, right? Boom, bang, Mikey Crafts, my new channel. All right, I'm not much of a crafter, but I do want to do another painting. I got my office going, I have no art on it, and I definitely want to paint it. Kristen, thank you for stopping by the, the Whatnot Show. The Whatnot Show was good today. I was very pleased. The Lucite Grapes, I think, sold for 50 bucks. And for Whatnot, I am super stoked for that. And yeah, I picked those up at the Goodwill Grand Opening. Also, my paperweight did decently. So overall, fantastic. Very happy. I'm gonna try to get consistently on Fridays. I'm buying storage units now too. So hopefully I'll, ha I'll have some more stuff to put out there. I had a good jewelry store show with a bunch, bunch of jewelry that I found in there. Sold the gold, sold a bunch of uh, sterling and other kind of necklaces on what, what, what not. Still have a bunch left. Not a bunch, but definitely enough for another show. So that's gonna be next week. 
you want me jewelry? And then if I don't have enough jewelry, I have a bunch of mint perfumes I'm thinking of selling. Oh, got to get them listed. Yes, that's our problem, listing. Listing, listing, listing. All right. La la, girl, it's all good. See you on the next one, next Friday. Four o'clock, but I might do five o'clock. I'm trying to talk Courtney into doing the whatnot shows with me, friends, full time. And I don't know if we'll stream it on YouTube. We might stream it on YouTube and sell on whatnot at the same time. Kind of like a lot of people do that, but I'm uh, definitely giving it some consideration. We gotta get Super Court signed up. Oh, a jigsaw puzzle. I thought these were cards. I got some like weird bird cards. They're very weird. They say some very derogatory things, but I might send them out by putting a, <laughs> put him in my whatnot packages so don't get offended kind of like a thank you card it's a postcard but it's these birds and some of these birds i already had to throw two away because they they were mean they were very very mean very accusatory with bad words all right oh all right let's find some stuff i haven't been here in a while i've been processing a lot of stuff at home so I haven't been hitting the thrift stores that hard, but I did find old oh, puzzles do well. I might have to check that one out. What kind of puzzle is it? I met, I met someone that told me they pick up every kind of certain person's puzzle, but I can't remember what that was. But sometimes these, like maybe the Arts series Blue Kazoo is the thing to do. So yeah, I'll check it out. Never hurts to hoard it for a little while. Yes, I can't scan the barcode because my phone, my phone is my camera. So, yeah, I'll probably do that afterwards. Unless someone's got the 411 and they're like, Mikey, that's the puzzle with the something something sell through rate. Bag it. Oh, look at this thing. Found some masks in my recent uh, storage unit locker. I priced those very reasonably, listed on my eBay. All my descriptions and links uh, are either in my YouTube channel main page or my descriptions. That's where you guys can find my whatnot. You can join up there, sign up for some dough, check out List Perfectly for a discount the first month, check out my Amazon links. I got all that stuff, friends. I'm trying to be a real professional, working on it, getting it there. All right, Simply Elegant Baby and Woodworking. Is this just like, I don't know, pretty fancy. Pretty fancy for a two by four with the stamp. That just makes it feel like it's money. Am I right? Psss, sizzle. All right. Oh, and friends, don't forget to do your job. Thumbs up. That's all I request. Hit the thumbs up. Help, help a guy out. Oh, with some thumbs. Is this another Ross special? Is that a country I don't recognize? $5.99 made in China special. All right, friends, this place is infested with Ross today. It's just infested with Ross. Not a whole lot we can do about that. I think this is a wine holder actually right here. Check this out. I have one, it hasn't sold. But it's got the nice buckles on there. They just pop the top right here. Oh, put your bottles down there. Boom, bang, bang. Friends, I've never been much of a wine drinker. Ooh. Supercourt. Supercourt enjoys a good wine. There we go. And the two. Sarah, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Happy Friday. Happy, happy Friday. Just out here looking for stuff to sell on eBay. My eBay sales were slow this week. Last week they were good. When I was listing, then I stopped listing. They weren't so good. What do you, what do you know? I think there's, I think there's something to it. That listing and making sales. Plus you have to list stuff people want to buy. If you just list a bunch of slow selling stuff, you're going to be waiting. You're going to be waiting. I try to list a good combo. All right. Let's keep on going. Oh, oh. we got a new cart. I see a new cart, friends. Let's go. Right over there. Electronics. This lady's already scooped up two, three, four items. Oh, look at that. Everyone's, everyone looks like they have better stuff than me. That's what it always is. I see a guy with a pool stick. I'm like, oh, a pool stick. All right, let's see what we got. 
brand new R pick. R pick. Tracy Lynn, welcome, welcome. All right, we got an alarm clock. Oh, we got something called the son of a gun. We got something called the son of a gun. Son of a gun by Clairol. It's probably not going to be good, right? Am I right? Am I right? Janet, warm jacket. I, I could. I could, but I'm not good at buying stuff for myself that's practical like a warm jacket. All right, I know this son of a gun is probably not going to be worth it, but I just, I just like the name of it. I like the name of it. We'll check it out. We'll check it out. All right. <laughs> oh, no, Sarah said that's the hairdryer I had when she was a kid. Now I'm very worried. I'm very, very worried. The technology did look pretty old inside of there, I got to say. What are these? Oh, what kind of iron? A Black & Decker, $7.99. I've bought an iron before. I forgot what the name of it was. But some irons can do, some irons are hot. Some just are not. All right, what is this thing? Whoa. Some kind of crazy light. Well, maybe like a truck light or something. Plus these are like little weird electronic things. I can't see what it says there. Just feel like that's money, but I, I'm not. I'm not knowledgeable enough. Lisa Kel <coughs> Lisa Keller. Hello, hello. LCGR backlight. I don't know. Maybe this is car stuff. Maybe this is car stuff. Just don't know. All right, what else do we got in here? Liquid crystal. Liquid crystal display. All right. Oh, more of these lights. Oh yeah, we got like brake lights, headlights, USB cords, not another Black & Decker, Sunbeam, I think that's a Black & Decker equivalent. All right, let's, let's go back in for some action. Check out some golf clubs, Tiger Shark, poor vacuum just discarded over here. That's good, Will. Oh, look at that. Uh, that. That ain't no hoe, but I don't know what it is, but it's definitely missing a doodad. That's the official term, doodads. That's what they put on the end of the mixing handles. If you watch my latest video, Storage with My Sister, there was a mixer and there were some doodads. Now these big things actually can sell. Look how huge that is. It's a travel pack for a golf, golf bag. Cause those dudes with that play golf, they got some dough. And they like to protect their protect their equipment. Twenty-five dollars. Don't see a brand name on it. Oh. America's Flyer. Golf guard. Alright. I don't know if you guys are interested in that or not, but sometimes those can do good. Definitely don't like twenty-five dollars. Like 10 or less. Oh, I got some shoes out. I got some shoes out. Oh, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. One more trip around here and then we'll go get the shoes. Definitely need to bag some more items. Oh, Magic 8 Ball. Ooh. It's called the Cosmo Ball, though. Magic Decision Maker. Copyright, friends. Copyright. I just want to buy one for fun. All right. Oh, La La Girl said, son of a gun, 1970, sold on Etsy, $35. All right. People might buy them just for the memories. Am I right? That's a lot. A lot of what sells are, are great memories. Some might be like, my hair, my hair dried so good back in the 70s. I need to get that. All right. Sounds fun. This is one of those eight balls, magic ball. All right, I don't have any good questions for the Magic 8 Ball. Usually I do, I just don't. Plus it's not a Magic 8 Ball, it's the Cosmo Ball, so I don't know if I can believe it. Like, I don't know if it has the same powers as the Magic 8 Ball or not. Very suspicious, because I mean, they're obviously trying not to copyright. All right, what else this is in here today? Yes, I can test the hair dryer before I buy it. And I think if it's an electronic, I think that's an electronic. It 
qualifies for seven day returns here at the Las Vegas Goodwills. All right, what else are we in here? Oh, draw what disappoints. All right, here we go. Oh, look how many electronics are here though. You guys are in the electronics. This is it, this is it. Found a major, oh, what is this? Star Wars Force Lightning Energy Ball. Bzz, 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 bzz. These things are so cool when you were a kid. Am I right? You touch them and then they get you. Disney. I don't know. Six dollars. I've got to scan that barcode right there on the eBay app, friends. They'll tell us if we're going to get rich. If we're going to get rich or not. All right. Magic Laser Light Show. Now, I said these things can do good too. Six dollars. Top looks shady. I'm going to skippy. Can do good. What else? What else we got in here? Kensington USB internet speaker phone? Someone wanted $20 for it at one time. All right, the blow dryer. $3.99. We'll go test that bad boy soon, too. All right, let's see what else is in here. Sometimes these, this kind of stuff can do good too. Random music equipment. The DAC 2800 PC. Let's see. Any other little easy type pickups? Oh, look at this cool uh, DVD player. That'd look good in the Jeep. All right. Sorry about the waviness, friends. Like, oh, what is this thing? It's got hinges, but a screw there. I'm bailing out. Bail out, Mikey. Bail out. All right. Daniel, Daniel, doing good. Thank you for hanging out with us. Welcome. All right. Let's check the bags, then the shoes. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Mom, Groovy Society, dropping the emojis. Thank you so much for joining us. There you go. Got my Vineyard Vines on. Dutch Brothers hat. We got, Mom, do you recognize this one? Son of a gun. Son of a gun hair dryer. Boom, bang, bing. See if it works. Oh. There we go. Now's a good time to smack the thumbs up button. Uh, Goodwill on Eastern. Goodwill on Eastern. All right, here we go. It smells bad. Smell a little better. Maybe that's me. Ooh, ooh, all right, friends. Hold on a second. The report was, it got warm. It got warm carrying one. It got warm, and but it smelt bad. It smelt bad. So, yeah, people always give me crazy looks. Um, is this, the, oh, it's burning dust, okay. Probably like 30 years of dust, am I right? All right. We're gonna bag that one for the fun. So, and if you guys ever see anything I pick up, you always can email me, holler, uh, if you want that son of a gun feeling. So, let's uh, let's see what else we got here. Into the baggies. Healthy living. That's what I'm trying to do. I hope you guys can do it too. A definite no, Carrie. One said a definite no. That is hilarious. The people like it. The people like it. I just burned up the 80s. That's what it smelled like. Yeah, it, the 80s, the 80s must have been bad because, whoo, it, it stunk. It stunk. And then the kind of, the smell kind of went away and then I turned it up another notch and then it just all came back. It all came back. Yeah. Dust, burnt dust, I guess, from the 80s. 
I'm glad you all could enjoy that with me. It was fun. All right. <laughs> Definitely some Aquanet dust in there. All right. We got a little basket we're filling up here with goodies. Oh, we got one more glass area to check out. We got some toys to check out. Gotta check out those shoes, that's for sure. All right, oh, head over to the glass. The glass, the plastic glass, friends, the plastic glass. That's what you call it. All right, Judith Eastman says, ha ha, you and your sister are so funny, you should go on the road. I am on the road. Mikey Bags of Money Channel Show Road. We, uh, we're on the road in Vegas, so uh, thank you so much for watching it. Uh, we had a lot of fun, she had a lot of fun. You guys, the great comments, I really appreciate it. And yeah, we're gonna do it again, for sure. She's also, my sister, we shopped in the store. So many people have shopped in the store with me on the show, but my sister shopped here and her daughter actually, my niece, found some Lucite grapes down at the very bottom of the shelf. And that's what started my Lucite grape expeditions. Now I come across them quite often. I got Super Cordyceps, sent off many other sets to many of you wonderful people out there. All right, strikeouts here, into the glass plates. Go with a slow walk. Plates just don't excite me. They're so big, they're so bulky. I just did ship out two plates, they're like 15 bucks from Japan. They're big platters too. I think they're super courts from way back in the day. They probably were uh, they probably were listed for maybe like four years, I gotta say. These plates sucked. I thought about taking all the plates off because I've had some stuff that I've had since I've started, pretty much. And I don't know, I just keep them there and then they sell, but they don't even bring me much money and $14 plate to ship that is not worth the scare, the fear factor for me of, of shipping a $14 plate. You know what I'm saying? I need it a little bulkier. I need a $40 or $50 plate to make it to make the uh, make all my worry worth it. I don't know if that makes sense. That's how I feel. Need more money to worry about a, a, a glass breakage. Although usually UPS and uh, UPS is better than uh, USPS. I usually always go UPS. If it's if it's heavy or about the same price, UPS dudes take care of me. I don't know why. All right. Trying to go into some glass, but we can't quite make it there yet. So we're going around. Oh, elliptical, friends. I'm gonna get an elliptical so I can take up some more more space in the house. Oh, look at this, friends. Look at that. Three hundred and ninety-nine dollars. They didn't even bother to clean it. They didn't even bother to clean it. Lake Erie, this one's nice. Yeah, this is this is a big bad daddy right here. The free motion, rear drive. Could easily hold it could easily hold a big boy like me. But four billies. Four billies. Oh, what's this? Oh. Oh, I think this is friends, we can get skinny. We can get skinny right here. Free motion on offer up for 300 Thanks, Marky Mark. I appreciate that. Look at this. I can get skinny. Oh, they got all kinds of gym pieces here. This one's too low to even go on the ground. But look, this is one of those vibrating things right here. Ba -ba 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 Boom. I wish I could test this thing. I don't think the cord's gonna reach. But yeah. And you just stand on it, vibrotherapy, and then you just get skinny. Am I right? Is that how it happens? I've seen the commercials. Or do you like have to work out? Oh, I think you work out. I don't know. I thought it was one of those fat machines. You know what I'm talking about? They got the band and it like just makes you skinny. You don't even have to work out. I'm looking for that. I'm looking for that. All right. Definitely need coach to test that. Overdue for hanging out with coach. The guy's killing it. And so busy. I know. 400 in the thrift store does seem kind of ridiculous. Does kind of seem kind of ridiculous. All right. Let's see what we got in the shoe section here. I can't even say shoe section every time. Oh, look at this, friends. Are they going to be a good price? Do you recognize those? Do you recognize? Uh, 
long clouds. I beat up. They still will do good. Beat up. Oh, a little too beat up for me, I think. That thing's got like a finger divot in it. Super bald on the bottom. I wouldn't want to wear these. I'm not going to try to sell these. A little too banged up for 15, friends. If it was five bucks, maybe I'd pass them on for someone for super cheap, but it's a little too worn out for me. What do you think? What do you think? Crystal Shaman, how you doing? Thank you for hanging out on a Friday night. Appreciate you being here. OG, OG. Carol F, thank you so much for joining. Hope some posh has turned up for you. Posh was very disappointing for me last month. Very, very disappointing for me. But that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Not good enough to bag. Nope. Some little Crocs right here. Light ride Crocs. $9.99. They always price their Crocs up here. They're on the Crocs. Clarks. I used to pick up Clarks. Clarks can be good bread and butter. Biscuit butt. Archie, thank you so much for joining us. How you doing? Happy Friday. Hope you're doing good. Ellen, hello, hello. Friends, thank you all so much for hanging out with me. Taking the time out of your Friday night to come and hang out with Mikey Bags. Even if it's just a stop by, to lurk, to smack the thumbs up. Oh, I do ask you to hit the thumbs up. It's not much. Look at these pimp kickers right here. $40, they're only asking 15. Some faux leather skin with the print right there. Heels. That's Vegas. That is Vegas. All right. <laughs> it's pointing that way. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I don't think we're going shirt shopping today, friends. Supercore says I need shirts. I need shorts. I need all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff I still need to purchase. And I've been selling a lot of my clothes, too. Since I did lose the weight, I've been slanging them. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Watch out. People see you with the camera. They like duck. They dodge. They wave when it's not pointing. Oh, look at that. Mikey's body double right there, friends. I could use that right there. Looks just like me. Just like me. All right. Oh. Oh. A resin folding chair. Oh, let's check this out. Freaky boots for sure. You gotta be out there to wear those boots. Six bucks. Oh, it's not very, it's not very, no, no, no. It's not good, friends, but you know, I just uh, gotta take a seat every once in a while and rest. So, yeah, it's Friday nights. So like I said, I've been thinking about changing it up a little bit. Miss Happy, Houston, Texas in the house. I've been thinking about changing it up a bit. I don't know, I'm always thinking about changing or I don't know. I just want to keep Friday nights alive for sure. I enjoy it, hanging out. Everyone says hi to each other. That does bring me joy. My mom hangs out and lots of other friends. And you guys give me the 100 thumbs up. That's all I need. Lisa, the chair is not sturdy at all. So hopefully you can find some more good stuff in here. That Star Wars thing looks cool, but it's probably it's probably super cheap. And that hair dryer, ooh, that stunk, that stunk. No on the green chair, I know. No, 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 no. All right, let's go. Oh, I think I squashed it. Let's see if it's still, let's see its condition. Oh yeah, it's groaning. Oh, all right, sorry chair, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it. All right. Let's see what else we got. Bicycles. Is that for a dog? Maybe like an animal or a kid trap? I'm not sure what that one is. Um, I also didn't know what this was. Is that like a basketball hoop returner? Put that under the net and it shoots it out there? I don't know. I don't know. I wonder. Still got one more glass section to check out because it's a little kiddo in there. It's crooked now. It is. It is. I felt it. I felt it. That thing, it did a shimmy on me. As soon as I got in there, it shimmied. And, and I was like, I, this is not meant for me. This is not meant for me. All right. I think we're coming in through this way. All right. 
Carol, yeah, you just gotta keep listing or maybe maybe try some eBay. Posh is not the fastest selling place, but it's the easiest. It's the easiest. And I just had someone telling me about, they recently sent, sent stuff on Posh. Two items broke and sometimes things break, but you know what, Posh is so cool. They, they just pay you the money and then they refund the buyer. Posh just takes care of that. Now their fees are a little higher, but that's just a good feeling to know they take care of the customer and and the seller. So that's why I always recommend to start there because it's easy, but it's not the place to get the most sales. I, I will say that for sure. It's tough, but it's a good, good place to learn. So you can always investigate eBay if you're ready to branch out or just keep trying to look for things that people want. Big brand names, Patagonia, Watch some Volo videos. There's lots of great content creators out there that have all kinds of Bolo and informational videos. Not me. Oh, look at this, friends. I learned this from Sunny, too. See, Sunny's always walking around with this purple light. The guy's good. I brought mine today. I brought mine because I had, I had to use it for my whatnot show. But I don't know. I don't see nothing glowing. I don't see nothing glowing. I sold a lot of vintage jewelry on eBay. Thank you so much for sharing. I sold some vintage jewelry on eBay also. I sold a, a heart necklace that I got from the unit. It was a 925 from Mexico and it's like a heart link clasp bracelet. It was really nice. And I think I got like 40 bucks for it. I was asking 50. I took 40. I got it from the unit. So I put a lot of stuff on whatnot for the unit, but I've put a few things that I thought could fetch fetch 40 or 50. Oh, and the two uses a, a light for that for cat pee. You gotta be very wary when you go with a black light inside, inside houses, rooms, and everywhere else. It's kind of safe at the thrift store, I think. I think so. All right, let's go. Carol, you can always email me, but watch some videos. Uh, watch Scott Cha-Ching King. He has some great tutorial videos. Cha-Ching King on how to get started on eBay. Very informational. Mikey, I don't break it all down like that. I'm like, just sell on eBay, answer some questions here and there. I recommend you do it, but I'm not the greatest at telling you exactly how to do it. All right, Nancy lives in the Mojave High Desert. Black lights work good for scorpions, as I probably know. I know, I don't want, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to turn this thing on in the dark because I'm afraid of scorpions. I, I'm, I don't want to find any. Carol F, start listing some jewelry on Poshmark. It's easy to list. More stuff, you never know. I think jewelry does sell on Poshmark got to get consistent and you got to find what sells that's the thing not everything sells some things sell fast some things sell slow like when i did the short of that garmin thing i sold for 400 bucks it sells fast because people really want it it's high in demand and there's not a lot of them out there like a shirt there's thousands and thousands of shirts out there but like some kind of garment GPS navigational tool that's an electronic, there's not that many out there. And they're expensive. So, I mean, if I could list those all day, of course I'd be rich. They're hard to find, but that's, that's what makes reselling tough. I mean, it's not easy like any job. You gotta know what to find, what to list, what to price it at, how to ship it, how to photograph it, all kinds of stuff. Just takes practice though. As long as you don't got no pressures of, of the money on you, just enjoy learning. All right. Yeah, my mom started on Posh, then she went to eBay because she wanted more sales. She wanted more sales. Swanee from Tasmania, how you doing, Swanee? Thank you for joining us. I think it's Saturday? Is it Saturday now? All right. Still not, nothing mucho. Nothing mucho, nothing mucho. All right, I'm gonna find the goods. I haven't brought my black light out today. I thought I was for sure gonna find something that glowed. Yes, yes. Well, happy Saturday. 
Thank you for hanging out, spending some time, rolling through the thrift store. And I like to come to this one a lot because I've been going to some of the others, but the, the reception isn't as good. So, and no one said anything about the sound so far today, which is good. I did, I do have a volume on my microphone, so I made sure I, I turned it all the way up this time. Beautiful nails. I don't know why I stared at that nail thing so long. I, I knew what it said. Oh. oh, what is this, friends? This is the kind of stuff that I was talking about, the weird electronics that could be good. This is, uh, is that Apex? An Apex 185. And has Humble Traveler. Welcome, friend. Thank you for hanging out. Spending some time with Mikey Bags. For over two years now, Humble Traveler. For over two years, time does fly. All right. I love that you guys share advice, too. All right. What is this thing? Oh. Is Marky Mark still in the house? Are these some kind of microphones, right? Let's see. Where is here? We're at the Goodwill on Eastern. We're in Goodwill. All right, I'll put these in. I'll look them up myself later. But sometimes these little things, these little things can do good. All right, Nancy says, this spring I'll be running a show on YouTube with direct sales. I just have to get the guts to do it. Nancy, go for it, go for it. You just gotta do it and then, and then it happens and you get used to it and it gets smoother and there's still hiccups last week i did uh, whatnot with supercourt and it did happen this week too this week no problems no technic oh i did have one technical glitch today i did i recovered but when supercourt's there there's always a technical glitch it's always always a glitch but i mean you just have the problem you get over it you remain cool and then you just keep going or you just shut down and start back tomorrow so i mean really and you're at home. Once you shut down, everyone else is gone. So be brave, just do it, and don't worry about it. No one judges too hard anyways. They'll be like, that live show sucked. No one does that, you know? So don't worry about it. Don't worry. All right. Nice. Yeah, Nancy, you just got to go for it. And it'll probably take a while to build up too. I mean, just because when you first start doing the sale, it just does, it takes a while to build. So yeah, just have low expectations when you start. That's the best way. Because it's tough, but it's very rewarding. I sold $250 worth of stuff in one hour today. So, I mean, that's that's pretty cool. And that's just uh, showing up, keep working. I've been doing whatnot for over a year now, over like almost a thousand items uh, sold. So some shows are better than others. I just keep showing up and keep hoping. Thank you, Lala. Last week, last show, Last week's show was good. I'm trying to, like I said, I'm trying to work on a whole vibe with Supercourt to get her to come out to the shows and maybe dual stream it to YouTube so we can have a good time. We'll, I'll make it I'll make it a good time for sure. So, all right. Yes, Nancy, I am. It's ups and downs. Sometimes I show up, sometimes I don't. I was doing it on Tuesdays and I just don't think Tuesday is a great, great buying day. So I switched to Fridays. I bust that out. And then I run out here to go thrifting with all of you. Keeps me occupied. All right. Oh yeah. Crazy Lamp Lady's got it dialed in. She's an OG for sure. I started watching her channel when I very first started reselling. There wasn't as many YouTubers around. There's a lot of us now for sure. But yeah, she's an OG. What she's built has been amazing. She kills it on all platforms. Um, Makita battery chargers, I bet you these things are pretty good. Makita's a good brand, like one of the better brands. My buddy just loves Makita stuff, but $20 for a battery charger, I just don't know. I just don't know. All right, oh, they got a lot of them though, I'm sure. I need to offer a bulk deal, a bulk deal. Joanne. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, what else? What else is up in here? All right, Brenda says, I want to resell, but the only reason I don't, I'm scared of shipping. I don't know, but I really am. Brenda, scare, shipping is scary when you haven't done it. Anything is, but once you do it, it's pretty easy. And if you mess up, it's not the end of the world. As long as you didn't do it like on a, it's not the end of the world for sure. 
Sometimes you just have to pay more and you don't make as much money. Sometimes you might even lose a couple dollars, but that's all part of the learning process. And as long as you uh, just don't get too emotional about it all, it's just one sale out of hundreds or thousands you might have in your career. So not all of them, not all of them go 100%, but you just gotta do it. That's the thing, you gotta do it. You gotta be willing to mess up and accept that messing up is part of it and just try to do good. That's all you can. Sometimes I still have some snafus. That's part of business. Especially if you sold a couple thousand items. They're, they're, out of a couple thousand, not everything is gonna go right. From me, from the customer, from the post office. Lots of places for errors, for sure. And we're all humans. All right. And so that's the nice part about whatnot, to calculate the shipping and do it for you, so not guessing the cost. Yeah, Nancy, whatnot is really good. That's why I like selling on there. Um, it's all so automated, it's so automated. It's just a great platform, I'm happy to pay the fees. All right, light sky. This thing kind of looks interesting. All right, oh, all right, Christy came through with some good information. I believe the microphones are the Apex 185. Yes, they are. Pair of pencil condenser microphones. I saw similar ones sold on eBay, but not those. Christy, thank you so much for sharing that information with me and everybody else. No sold on eBay. That is not a good sign. Not a good sign when there's no solds. All right. I don't know, so we're just chilling in the electronics, digging in thick today. Digging in thick. All right, I think we got, oh, there's some more over here. Just gonna make, gonna make my way over here. Polars. All right. All right, friends, gone through the store. I bagged some good items. Um, we had some good reselling talk. We'll talk some more about the reselling. Like I said, we're gonna have some changes to the show and we're just gonna try to improve everything. I appreciate all of you for coming out tonight. I appreciate you for hanging out on my whatnot, liking my videos, watching my videos, commenting on my videos. All that stuff helps me out so much. Makes it able so I'm able to do this and hang out with y'all. So you guys, you have a great, great night. I appreciate you all. It's gonna be another one in the bag. Hit the thumbs up on the way out. I appreciate you. Next time.